need haste After that boy, I need grace I need bones, that's awake I need loss with no break I am chosen, I am great After that boy, I need space But I need space That is a feminine according to the Bible, according to your father, your creator. You effeminate are unrighteous. You will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Oh, praise you. Learning something, brother? You went to church today? All right, all right. What about you? What's going on with you? What's your question for the Most High God? Because this is His word, right? This the Lord's word, right? Well, let me let me let me bring something out to you. Give me that in Leviticus, right? Chapter twenty. Uh, no, eighteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Yep. Because we gotta we gotta address this, brother. You got a spirit on you, right? Yes. No. 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 Okay, 18 still, sir? I'm going to set you out. Okay. Uh, 25. Where is it at? Uh, 22. 18. Right. 22. Right. You was right there, brother. All right? So we got to deal with you. This is what the Lord requires of you. All right? This land that told you that certain things that you believe in and that you think is good, the Lord ain't good with it, brother. He's going to put you to death if you don't repent. And that goes for all of us. Right. Him, if he get a spirit on him that's not according to this word, the same thing. The same end. Watch this. Come on. Now this is the Bible. This world say one thing. The Bible, God says another thing. Now watch this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Now let me ask you this question, brother. Is this the lifestyle that you believe in? That you supposed to be lying with mankind? Is this what is this what you is this the lifestyle you believe in? Stand straight, control your brother like a man. Control yourself and answer the question. Is this the lifestyle? Okay, let's read. Read it again, start from the top. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. So the Most High God says that that lifestyle is abomination. Get Romans chapter 1. Get Romans chapter 1. That lifestyle, the Lord said, God says, it's abomination. It's abomination, right? You understand who you are. Look at this sign right here. You already, uh, the brother looked at this sign, right? You identify, you are one of the children of God, right? The children of Israel. You do identify as a child of Israel, right? Okay. All right. So these are, two, no, 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 no. First, give me uh, what the Lord requires of us. All right. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Yeah. All right. So as a man, as, as you understanding and identifying that you are in fact a child of Israel, meaning a child of God, right? There is a heritage, that you, a heritage that you have, right? And the lifestyle that we pick up here and the things that we do is not of our heritage. Yes, sir. It's something of the, the other people deal like that. The other people get out like that, right? Watch this. And this is, read one and one, hold this right here. Read one and one first. So that you understand who the Lord is speaking to. Because we've been taught over and over and over, the Bible is talking about everybody. And you know what that does? It confuses the exact, the specific people that God is talking about. That's what it does. And saying that this Bible is for everybody, God is talking to everybody, it confuses us. So let's get who, who the Lord is actually speaking to. Watch this, come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Uh, unto all who? All Israel. So the Bible is speaking to who, brother? I know everybody got to go when the word of God comes up. But listen to the Bible. Read it again. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto all Israel. Right? So who is the Bible speaking to? All Israel. You are a child of Israel. Whether you believe it or not. Whether you want to act like it or not. Alright? Now get just go to 1 Corinthians chapter chapter 6. Chapter 3. 
First, I mean chapter three. I'm sorry. Yeah, with the with the talking about the spirits, right? Is that what I want? Know ye not? Uh, chapter three, three sixteen. First Corinthians chapter three, verse sixteen. Yep, listen up. Yeah, I want the spirits. I'm sorry. Go to six. First uh, chapter six and six and is that where it start? Six and nine. Come on. Yep, the spirits. Watch this. No, not the spirit. The spirits in First Corinthians chapter six. Come on, read that. Don't confuse me, brother. The book of First Corinthians chapter six verse nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? So the Most High God says. You got to know, you better know that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Right. So after all this foolishness is done on this earth, Teach. what is your end? What's to, what's, to, what's to become of you after all of this foolishness is done? What's to become of you? What's the point of it, of this life, if you just die forever when it's done? Right. But what is the unrighteous? Read on. Be not deceived, uh -huh. neither fornicator. Neither fornicator. What is a fornicator? Somebody in the midst of any sexual sin. Teach. Any sexual sin. That is a fornicator. That is a fornicator. That is the unrighteous. What else? Nor idolaters. Nor people who want to put a cross on their neck. An ark around their neck. Right. Who want to bow to an ark. Or who want to bow to an obelisk. Or who want to bow to any other thing that the Lord said thou shalt not. Read. No adulterers. No adulterers. Our communities are full of murder because it's full of adultery. It's full of men stealing other men's wives. It's full of men committing sin, marital sin. That's why we. That's why our communities are full of crime, full of murder. That's why the blood of Israelite touched the blood of another, the blood of another Israelite. That's right. Because adultery is in our community. What else? Nor effeminate. Nor what? Nor effeminate. Nor you men that act like your women. Nor you men that soft, can't speak strong. That's right. Refuse to stop shaving your beard off. That is effeminate according to the Bible, according to your father, your creator. You effeminate are unrighteous. You will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Thus saith the Lord. Read on. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind nor those who lie with mankind as with a woman right. that is what the bible call of self abuse you you abusers of yourselves with mankind you sodomites god says your life is a waste of time right. you will not inherit eternal life when this is over when you die you die forever That's you right. remain in hell forever teach the lord says repent turn from that this country, this world says you're okay. No one can judge against that. Bring it up. Read that again. Listen careful, brother. Bring it up. No effeminate. No effeminate. Men that act soft. Men that has the fit the characteristic or take on the attributes of a woman. Come on. No abusers of themselves with mankind. So see how those go together. See how the Most High God listed those things right next to each other because they go hand in hand. Right. Hand in hand. So even if you, the Most High God say, don't even act like you lie down with mankind as with womankind. Don't even act like it. Don't even act like you saw. The men of God, the children of Israel, shall be men, shall act, shall stand, shall speak, shall look like men. That's right. There shall be no confusion with you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Teach! When you keep the laws of God. All that soft stuff, somebody gotta ask you if you cut like that, if you, if you, uh, uh, what is it called? If you lay down with men, yeah. like with a woman, Shit. it should, that shouldn't even be a question with you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right! It don't matter what the other nations say is okay. Teach! The, our God, the creator of heaven and earth, say thou shalt not it is abominable. Read on. Yes, sir. No thieves, no covetous, uh -huh. no drunkards, no revilers, 
No extortioners. So all these crimes, all these despicable, disgusting ways go hand in hand with what this country says is not abominable, which is homosexuality. Right. The most high God say, you're no better than a murderer. You're no better than a thief. You're no better than a covetous. You're no better than an adult adulterer. An idolater. That's right. God say you're no better. No. God say you're no better. We have a custom, we have a way, and our father instructed us, thou shalt not lie as a man down with another man. That is abomination. Right. You shall not give me that in X. Uh five and where's that at? Five and twenty-nine? We will also obey God rather than man. Yep, give me Acts five and twenty-nine. This country say one thing, and we gotta obey the laws of the land, true indeed, true indeed, until, until these laws say that we can encourage or we have to encourage or stand by while our men, the men of Israel, the men of God, become sodomites, right. become effeminate. Right. God say, thou shalt not. So that's what we gonna say. Right. That's what we gonna stand up for. Right. Read that. Then Peter, and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God uh -huh. rather than man. Read that again. We ought to obey God rather than man. The Holy Bible say, when it comes to the laws that go against the laws of God, we got to choose the laws of God. Yes. We have to go with what God says. And that's what we're going to do as men of God, as men of the Lord. Right. That's what we gonna do. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.